But uh, let's uh, let's watch this SCP, bro. Let me go with a quick like, and let's check it out, bro. Shout out to Rub. Viewer discretion is advised. It was a house. It was dark, in shambles, and covered in graffiti. <clears throat> the house seemed to pull it in, almost as if invisible tentacles were dragging it closer and closer to the door. <clears throat> Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. What's up The Rubber? Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Heater Class Object SCP-2006. SCP-2006 is an anomalous spherical entity that measures roughly 50 centimeters in diameter in its default state. I got it. 2006 possesses the ability to change its appearance and voice to any form that it desires. Currently, 2006 has demonstrated a fondness for taking the form of various entities and villains from a number of horror and science fiction movies that it had seen prior to the transformation. The most common form that 2006 embraces is that of Roman from the 1953 movie Robot Monster. SCP-2006 is still capable of speaking even when it possesses the form of an entity that is normally unable to speak. Okay. 2006's goal is to evoke feelings of fear and horror in humans. To do that, 2006 will generally attempt to startle or scare any <laughs> individual it comes into contact with. I don't know, with. bro. What is that, but after bro? After doing so, nigga, that is actually scary, bro. Is the octopus cat, el octoposo gato, like that is that is okay, bro. Startle or scare any individual it comes into contact with. But after doing so, it will become affable and friendly. SCP-2006 is not good at distinguishing between the various different types of stimuli that can cause fear to humans. Hence, it's constantly searching for new methods and hell no, hell no, hell no, bro. I'd rather deal with this big old thing than a roach, bro. A talking roach, especially if that bitch got wings, is flapping all over the place. You got me, child, bro. I ain't. No, sir. Extends to recognition that. of emotions in humans. That ugly too. As 2006 is incapable of distinguishing between subtle differences in emotion that otherwise would be much more obvious to a human. With this nature, some SCP personnel have been questioning why SCP-2006 is classified as a Keter entity. So here's an explanation from. The explanation is very simple. If he if he understands our humor, like dark humor. Or not even dark humor. If he understands what really makes us scared, like, because a lot of people, some of y'all are bitch made, right? Y'all like, can't stand the sight of a scary movie. But let's say somebody like me, I don't really get scared from scary movies that easy. Like, it's like, I need, like, a scary game, per se, or something like that to really get me scared. And, and so, with that being said, if he turns into one of those things, like a nuke or, or famine or, or just something of that nature, bro, like, hey, bro, he said shade, if the shoe fits, you know what I mean? He said, is that the... Bro, y'all y'all say y'all say the rubber puppy. Y'all say the rubber puppy in, in the in the hold on bro. Let me y'all be do the pose, bro. Hold on. I got you right now, bro. I got you right now, bro. He mad as shit, nigga. Yo, go to sleep, cuz. Hold up. What where he looking to the side? Nah, bro, that's not me. That's not me. That's not me, bro. I mean, bro, I mean shit. Site 118 director, Dr. Randall Owings. Although SCP-2006 is not a regenerating super lizard, it does possess the same level of danger as any other Keter that the Foundation has contained. Uh, Imagine what would happen if- You said I'm ugly as shit for that nigga, you eat Bob Evans, shut up. If SCP-2006 oh found out what really scared people. Imagine if it saw the horror and fear of war, or the concepts of paranoia or phobias common to each and every human being. Imagine if it found the true horror of a nuclear holocaust, or an XK-class scenario. Now, couple that with an entity that possesses shape-shifting abilities with no known limits, and you'll understand why it's classified as Keter. Currently, SCP-2006 is contained at Site-118 in an airtight containment cell. That's not, that's not, okay. However, it once broke out of its containment and ventured out into a forest. 2006 trudged through the thick forest, at first annoyed by the mud because it dirtied its clean fur. Then it realized that the mud would only make it seem creepier and scarier than before. It didn't bother dusting it off after this thought. After a few hours, the fearsome beast found itself on solid ground, a sidewalk. 2006 was delighted. A sidewalk always led to houses, 
in houses always led to chances of scaring the living daylights out of people. After a moment or two of walking, it had found a group of kids. They all wore masks and different outfits. Okay. Slowly, it crept up behind them. Boo! The kid in front of him dropped a bag that they had been holding, numerous sweets and confections spilling out. The kid stepped forwards a bit, startled, before staring back at the monster. The child's face was painted a pale white with sharp plastic fangs to match. Come on, man, you made me drop my candy. The consequence of your candy dropping bears no match to my power. Be afraid, human. 2006 <laughs> waving its hands well, in the air and like jumping that, up and down. Do you know this guy? Questioned another my O's. wearing a Spider-Man costume. I have no clue. I suppose this is why they tell you about stranger danger. The whole group laughed. Damn. Was I not scary, children? All I want is to be scary. If that's your job, then you suck at it. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here before this guy eats our brains. The kids ran away, fake screaming before loudly giggling amongst themselves. 2006 was devastated. My whole life is a lie. What will it take to be scary again? Almost like magic, it heard the words, trick or treat, sound from the group of kids it had attempted to terrorize. It looked down the sidewalk and saw them wait in front of a door, tapping their toes while checking their watches. That nigga toe was out. Eventually, an old woman emerged from the door. Well, hello, children. Oh my goodness. Aren't you the scariest vampire I ever did see? To SCP-2006, this sounded like genuine fear. It seemed that the scariest of creatures weren't monstrous beasts, but small creatures, like those children. So SCP-2006 had an idea. It transformed into a small, pale humanoid that resembled no, a human sir. child. No, sir. There it stood. <laughs> Yo, that nigga ugly as shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, small ass goblin, pale ass goblin. My nigga don't eat at all. That shit is ugly, nigga. My precious face ass nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> all right, bro. Completely naked, blood dripping from the mouth he with said, pointed ears. He said hobgoblin, bro. And sharp claws and teeth. It jumped up and down with excitement before getting on all fours and quickly crawling to the house the kids were at. The crawling creep knocked on the door and hung from above the doorframe. The woman from before came out. Hello? Anyone there? Prepare to face the wrath of demons, puny mortal, screamed SCP-2006, jumping out in front of the woman before giving off a high-pitched screech. Oh, no. Nah. The old woman fainted in fright, falling back into the house. There was no response from the lady. She started foaming? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, uh. huh. Frozen in fear, aren't you? There was still no response. I'm just gonna go on to the next house, all right? Have a nice day, ma'am. It left the house, the lady still unmoving. It went from door to door, scaring each and everyone in the neighborhood. It finally got to live out its life purpose, its only purpose to scare as many people as possible, in the best way possible. Eventually, it sat down on a tree branch to take a break. It had been scaring people for more than four hours and had finally grown tired. Just as it was about to lay down and fall asleep, something caught the corner of its eye. It was a house. It was dark and shambles and covered in graffiti. Y'all hear that, bro? What is that? Is that a plane? What is that? <clears throat> you know, you know, you know, at this point, it is what it is, bro. Uh, Alright, bro, it is what it is, bro. Yo. Yo, what, what if somebody dead ass grabbed me, yo? What if somebody dead ass grabbed me, bro? He was like, come here, nigga. Oh, oh, I actually almost fell on my chair, nigga. You said they found me. Better run. GG, cozy. Ha ha, funny. You said.
said my closet. You said behind me. You said you thought you was funny. You either fight or die. All right, let's uh, let's uh, he under your bed. You said I summoned it. Y'all are so adorable, bro. <laughs> Fat ass helicopter. 2006 was drawn to it, yet at the same time, unnerved by it. The house seemed to pull it in, almost as if invisible tentacles were dragging it closer and closer to the door. 2006 had no physical reason to be afraid because there wasn't anything that could physically harm it. Yet, it could sense something was wrong. Something was utterly terrifying about the house. 2006 thought of the word for it. Dread, perhaps? Maybe unknowing. Unknown. The fear of the unknown. The knowledge of uncertainty. The acknowledgement that anything may happen. In this house, there was no certainty. No knowing of- How do you go from being like just a random SCP to being the protagonist of an entire anime, bro? Holy. What may happen. Holy, bro. It was filled and filled and filled with unknown. And SCP-2006 was afraid. When 2006 walked out of the house hours later, a number of highly armed soldiers, researchers, and field agents have already stand by outside and waiting for it, ready to forcefully contain it. Yet SCP-2006 simply just kept walking. Its form changed back to Roman, and it didn't say a word. It walked into the temporary containment truck along with a number of confused MTF members. Their gun still pointed at the thing at all times and was driven back to Site 118. Bro, what did he see, bro? Eventually contained once again in its cell. As the sun rose on Site 118, this time without a missing anomaly, Site Director Owings and Researcher Loof got together for a meeting. So, Loof, any progress in 2006? Sir, all it does is sit in the corner of the cell. It doesn't speak, it doesn't move, it won't do anything. In the last three hours, we've poked it with sticks, we've played frequencies in the cell that would drive any man mad, and we've shown it numerous bad sci-fi flicks, nothing can get it to move. I know it has been difficult, but we gotta keep trying. Sir, with all due respect, we know SCP-2006 learns- Hey yo, Robert, if you ever see this video, bro, you might as well name that nigga on the right. Name that nigga Cozy, Professor Cozy, you know what I mean? Something last night. It has evolved, not in the physical, but in the mental sense. It knows that any monster, deity, or what have you can and will become stale. But from what I can guess, it knows that primal fear never evolves. Sir, have you ever seen The Shining? Most certainly, yes. You know that scene where Wendy is going through Jack's papers, all saying the same thing, and Jack is slowly creeping up on her? Yes. Sir, 2006 knows suspense. Lying in the corner, it has become Jack, and we're all Wendy. He knows what he's going to do. He's slowly creeping up on us, while we all scramble around cluelessly and wait. We have no idea what he's going to do. But with all this tension being built up, we know that he needs to release it at some point. We've all feared he'd become a nuclear holocaust, or a large-scale genocide, or something else horrible. But we've never feared that he'd become horror itself. There was a tense silence in the meeting room. Director Owings broke it. Prepare the site for anything. The tension will release any moment. Remember to check out my new animation channel, The Rubber T- Yeah, that came out of nowhere. Hey, y'all boys on the YouTube channel, let me know if y'all mess with reactions like this, bro. I don't know, bro. I like, I think I like this upper left corner better, bro. I don't know. It's, you know, that green screen began on my nerves, bro. Let me know what y'all think. Chat, you know what I mean? Y'all also let me know what y'all think, but... Hey, bro, that was, uh, that was fire, bro. That was fire. Shout out to Rubber, always doing his thing. Yeah.